So I had this big limb come off a beech tree, tree right up there, pretty good sized limb come down, block my road. So underneath this tree is something that I've been working on for a couple weeks. I literally just finished it up three days before this tree come down. So I've got to get this cleaned up out of here so I can see what kind of damage I have. Okay, here's what I got here. I got a bridge that's all caved in from a big tree. And I spent, I don't know, a couple weeks on and off repairing this bridge, pretty much rebuilding it. This side was rotted out. Uh, this tree to the lumber doesn't last like it used to. I built this bridge 11 years ago. And actually, the creek was moving over this way and starting to wash out underneath it. I supported the bridge up, built a temporary wall down in the creek bed raised the bridge up on it and I poured a concrete retaining wall underneath here and then I poured a concrete cap for all this stuff to sit on and I raised it up a little more we get some big rains down here and this would be underwater and the bottom of this bridge would be all wet and packed full of mud and that's what started rotting it out so I had got it raised up got all this concrete poured and I replaced a bunch of lumber underneath here to support. So I had to cut in the splice pieces in there. Literally three days after I got it done, this tree came down. And the way I built this bridge, it's built like trusses. Everything is built out of treated wood. And I built all these trusses in my barn. Uh, the whole bridge was actually prefabbed. I built all the trusses, all the deck boards was pre-cut. All I had to do was pull it down here, assemble all the trusses, stand them up, uh, get the decking on it. And yeah, I think I can save the bridge. There's a lot of weight on there and it's still holding up. And then the other thing, we've been in a drought here. We haven't had a drop of rain in I don't know how long. Everything was burning up around here. The next day after this tree fell down, we've had two inches of rain come down, made this a big muddy mess. So yeah, why not? So the trick is trying to get this tree off of here. I got to get this big limb off and I don't want it to swing over, do any more damage to the bridge. I don't want to plug the creek up with this tree. So that's going to be an issue. I'm going to try trimming up all these limbs, get everything out of here I can, and then try and roll this over somehow. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens.
Well, let's take a look at this bridge. I'd put these gussets on here a few years ago because the ends of the trusses started rotting out. Uh, and that worked pretty good. And it looks like that is still together, but I'm going to have to replace this 2x6 back here, or at least scab another one to the back side of it. The center truss looks okay, the other side looks okay. And I think I'll have to replace most of these boards down here and then this ridge board. I parked the mini truck right there and so I had all my tools here and I'm looking at this tree and I'm thinking one day that thing's going to come down. So it was literally three days later. I'm going to work on getting these logs out of the creek and I'll let this mud dry up and I'll end up repairing this bridge sometime this summer. Okay, that tree is cleaned up. There's one log left over there, and I'm going to leave that thing. It's pretty big, and I'm 65 years old. That's enough work for a senior citizen today. I'm going to let this mud dry out. That's going to be a while. It's pretty soupy down here. But it looks like the bridge is salvageable, and I'll get it repaired in a couple weeks. The Kubota L3800 come through for me today. Can't believe how much work I get done with that thing. Did some slipping and sliding in the mud, but it worked really nice. Thanks for watching.